Hello, today I wanted to talk about five words created from opposites. These are single words that have kind of two opposite parts to them. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, here's the first one, and I've got some dictionary definitions here. Let me zoom in. First one is bittersweet. Now, these two words are opposites, right? Bitter, something tastes bitter, is the opposite of sweet. So what does bittersweet mean? It, it can mean, uh, it's an adjective, arousing pleasure tinged with sadness or pain. So something that gives you pleasure, makes you feel good, but also is painful. Huh? I, I was thinking of this word particularly. Uh, my eldest daughter, two days ago, she flew off to Milan to study Italian, and she'll be gone for, I don't know, at least a year, maybe three. Uh, that was a very bittersweet moment for me. I felt a little sad, very sad that she was leaving, but also happy for her that she was doing something uh, exciting and great. So that's a bittersweet moment, a bittersweet feeling. Okay, you get the idea. So it's two opposites together that make a new kind of word. Right, here's the next one. <laughs> Excuse me. This is from, a, from German. Schadenfreude. German, but we use it in English because we don't have a word that means this. Schadenfreude, it's a noun, and that means pleasure derived by someone from another person's misfortune. It means being happy that somebody else is not happy. <laughs> so, you know, for example, like uh, if you see somebody fall over and they fall on their bottom and it's very funny and you go, ha, ha, ha. You're laughing at somebody else's problem. Um, or maybe it's somebody you don't like. Uh, a boss who's always being nasty to you and they trip over or they something, something and you just you secretly laugh. <laughs> I think schadenfreude, schaden is guilty and freude is joy. So guilty joy in German. So, okay, so being happy at other people's problems. It's not good, is it? <laughs> But there, but there we are. Okay, here's another one, kind of similar. Frenemy. Noun, a person with whom one is friendly despite a fundamental dislike or rivalry. Uh, so if you imagine this comes from two opposite words, one is friend and the other is enemy. Of course, they are opposite meanings, friend and enemy, but stick them together. A frenemy, somebody you don't really like, but you are friendly to, maybe your boss. Don't really like the boss, but oh yeah, nice to see you. That's called a frenemy. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, here's another one. Um, here's a word, coopetition, and that's taken from two words, uh, cooperation and competition. Cooperation is working together. Competition is fighting or, or competing against each other. But putting them two together, and it means collaboration. That means working together between business competitors in the hope of mutually beneficial results. So this would be like if you imagine Toyota and Honda working together to make a new car. Or um, it happens sometimes in businesses, usually not so similar. Uh, like if Apple, uh, they got together with, I think, New York Times. So Apple computers made a, uh, a news app using New York Times information. So that, that was, they are rivals, but they were working together. So that's co-opetition, <laughs> kind of a, a businessy word. Okay, I've got one more. This comes up a lot. It's not really one word, but they're always put together. Passive, aggressive. Passive means easygoing, uh, peaceful. Aggressive means not easygoing, violent. Passive, aggressive, and it's an adjective. Uh, the de dictionary definition, use of indirect resistance to the demands of others and avoidance of direct confrontation. Well, it means you really don't like something, but you don't want to fight. So you do the minimum nasty thing. For example, maybe you're standing on a train, a crowded train, and somebody with a big bag pushes against you and knocks you over. So you, know, you want to turn around and fight and say, hey, what are you doing? But you don't. Instead, you just carefully step on their toe accidentally. <laughs> that would be a passive aggressive. You're not really starting a fight, but you're 
you know, you're behaving badly. Uh, so these are one, two, three, four, five, five examples of using opposites to make a new word. You may think these are brand new words, but actually some of these are very old or at least have been around. I thought frenemy was, a, was an internet word, but apparently it comes from the 1940s. So co-opetition, I think, has been since 1980. Passive aggressive has probably been forever. And I don't know when we started using schadenfreude. <laughs> and bittersweet, well, that's part of human life. Anyway, let's have a look. I've got three questions. Let me zoom down here. Ooh, three questions. Number one, what bittersweet experiences have you had in your life? Anything that was both happy and sad at the same time. Number two, do you think it's healthy to have schadenfreude, to be happy at other people's problems? Is it, is it ever good? And number three, do you think people are becoming more passive aggressive? What situations make people more passive aggressive? And my example is standing on a train uh, in, in Tokyo. Or on the, on the, I used to travel on the Tozai Sen in, um, in Tokyo. There were lots of passive aggressive moments because we were all stuck together. I don't know. Uh, do you have experience of that? What do you think? Are we getting more passive aggressive with the internet? Anyway, there you go. So. Uh, let's have a chat about these five opposite words. See you soon.